Hey everybody, Jill here. Welcome to my kitchen. Uh, the weather has taken quite the turn here in Arkansas. So as you guys remember last week, we were in tank tops doing a lot of work on the farm. It was in uh, the low 80s. Uh, this week I woke up and it's 30 degrees, lows in the 20s. So definitely singing a different tune over here. And you guys know what I do when it's cold outside. I make bread. So. I'm going to be feeding Otis to make a focaccia and I'm actually going to take you guys along with me as I try to make butter for the first time. So I'm definitely a beginner. Uh, the reason I wanted to make butter is because you guys know uh, Nathan and I aspire to have a dairy cow one day. And I think it would be really beneficial right now when I don't have a cow um, and I don't have all this excess milk to really try to figure out how to utilize that. That way, whenever the time does come, um, I'll know how to make butters. I'll know how to freeze dry the milk. We'll be uh, equipped to handle the surplus that we might be getting in. And so I do think that's, you know, really good is if you're in the waiting stage of something, maybe try and figure out what to do with that. If you are aspiring to have a garden, but you're not there yet, go to the farmer's market figure out how to can that food how to preserve that food that way when you do have the abundance of your first garden you'll feel confident and know what to do with it and how to use it up so I have my Otis here he has been in the fridge gosh for weeks I have not fed him I have not used him you guys can see he's still uh, pretty stinking active and so I am going to be discarding and refeeding so I'm going to discard majority of it Still smells fine. I'll probably keep around a tablespoon and then I'm gonna add 50 grams of flour, 50 grams of water. So I'm gonna do that first, pop him on a heat mat, and then we'll start making butter. So all you need to make butter is cream and salt and some sort of mixer, which when I was doing my research is apparently not even necessary. Uh, back in the day, they used to uh, hand churn the butter or what I was seeing is if you wanted to do it the old fashioned way, you could put it in a jar with a lid and shake it. <laughs> While that seemed really uh, fun. I think I'm going to pass. <laughs> it did say it would take double or triple the amount of time to make butter if you were to be using a stand mixer or a hand mixer. Um, I don't actually have a stand mixer, so I'm going to attempt it with my hand mixer. Um, and even that's really old and it doesn't have all the right attachments. So we truly are just kind of winging it just to see. I am going to take notes. I take notes really for anything that I do. Um, I have no doubt that if you had a stand mixer, that would definitely be the way to go. Now, I wish I could tell you that I had fresh cream, uh, but the dairy that we buy from currently doesn't have any milk. And so I went and just bought organic heavy whipping cream and we're gonna see. But if you do have access to a dairy, um, I really recommend buying from a dairy. It's probably gonna taste way better. Even just the color of this cream versus the cream that we get from the local dairy, it's not even comparable. It's like white to yellow. Um, and so I'm gonna grab a bowl. We're gonna put this in a bowl and then we'll give it a go. All right, so I have got my mixing bowl. I'm going to pour my cream in here. From what I have been reading and researching, it is going to turn to whipped cream first and that's when you keep going. <laughs> and then hopefully it'll start to separate and make butter. Um, I really have no idea, so we're learning together.
think? Well, I think I have a face full of buttermilk. <laughs> Can I lick it? Uh, if you like buttermilk, I guess. <laughs> I also think that I 100% would not have done that by shaking a jar. Holy guacamole. So now I'm going to grab a cheesecloth because we it has separated. And that was one thing I did notice is I was, it had that whipped cream and then it was just kind of funky and I was just like, oh my gosh, we're going to stay in this stage forever. So I definitely think a hand mixer or a stand mixer where you just pop it on and go to go about your business would be great. Uh, but if you are using a hand mixer, stay consistent because I've been mixing this for, gosh, a hot minute. Um, so now I'm going to grab the cheesecloth and you guys can see uh, the buttermilk has separated. So we're going to strain that off and then we're going to rinse out the butter. Alright, so now it's the fun part and we get to separate it. Um, I'm actually going to use a Nathan. <laughs> you just thought you were getting away. Will you pour this and then we are... Now you could keep the buttermilk uh, for like... Uh, baking or if you like to drink buttermilk. However, I don't know that I've ever bought buttermilk or drank buttermilk. So We're gonna strain it back into this and we're gonna give it to the piggies All right, so will you dump this and I'm gonna try to catch the butter That's the goal Put it over there. Yeah Oh yeah Keep pouring. All right. I think that's all liquid. Yeah, it's pretty good. So a lot of what I had researched said to have a pitcher full of ice cold water. Um, and you'd pour the ice cold water on it. However, I'm a huge ballerina farm gal myself and she seems to know what she's doing. She just runs it underneath her sink on ice cold water. So that's what I'm gonna do. Nathan had, Nathan had a good point. He's like, what do you mean run it under? So there's still a lot of like buttermilk in this. And so you essentially collect all of the little remnants from your bowl. Yo, I just made butter. <laughs> Watch out, Betty Crocker. Isn't that her name? Yeah. <laughs> so essentially what we're gonna do is I've got my water on cold over here. So you're going to do this and you guys can see, so you guys will be able to see as I am running it under the water and squeezing it, I'm squeezing out all that excess uh, buttermilk. So you do want to do that. So I'm just going to do that a couple times. Alright. Look at there. What is so disappointing to me is the color uh, quality from fresh milk. You know, you go to the grocery store and you see butter that's like that pale white color. That's not what butter's supposed to look like. Butter's supposed to be yellow. So we're gonna do a 2.0 version of this video when I do get some fresh cream, just to do a good like side-by-side -side comparison. So, golly, y'all, I just like legit made butter. I got a question. When do you add salt? So you add salt right now. Um, so I'm going to, will you grab me some salt? I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some salt on here and then just kind of massage it in. What kind of salt do you add? I'm just going to add sea salt. Okay. I think kosher salt would probably be fine. Um, if you don't buy salted butter, you don't have to add any salt. It's right there in front of you. That pink Himalayan sea salt. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just going to grind some of this in there. We buy salted butter. We buy Kerrygold butter. We're honestly big fans of Kerrygold butter, but we spend so much money on butter. And when we're buying the milk, we get quite a bit of cream off of one of those, you know, half gallon jars. And as much as I love to put that in my coffee, I probably shouldn't be drinking cream in my coffee every day, if you know what I'm saying. So. I thought if I can learn how to make butter now, when we buy milk from the local dairy, I can take that and make uh, fresh butter with the cream, and then that will prevent me from wanting to put it in my coffee. So, I'm gonna take this. All you butter experts, I could be doing this wrong. Like I said, I'm a first timer over here. But I just grated some in there. I am 
gonna kind of just like move it around, add some more, form it into a nice ball again. I really can't believe I just made butter. <laughs> So like I said, we salted it because one, we prefer uh, salted butter, but two, it extends the shelf life of this. So I can stick this on my counter um, and it'll be good for like two weeks. However, I am making focaccia and so we're gonna have that with dinner. And so more than likely this butter's not gonna last us but a couple days, we'll use this up before the other one. But my gosh, y'all, how simple and awesome was that? Um, you guys know I love learning new things. I love learning just like from scratch. Um, I'm kind of venturing into my cooking skills, uh, but I've always preserved and I've always canned and that side of things have always just kind of come natural uh, to me. And I'm surprised I haven't made butter before <laughs> in all my years of canning and like cooking from scratch and preserving from scratch. And so uh, this was kind of a neat little experiment that I did. I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, I'm excited to put it on some focaccia bread and just see how well uh, it tastes. But thanks for hanging out with me today as I made butter for the first time on the farm. I hope that this video shows you one, just how easy it is to do that. Something that you might think would be super intimidating like butter ended up taking me like what, 10 minutes? Um, and so I, I wanna tell you guys that because I really wanna encourage you, try new things. If you're in that season of waiting for something, experiment. I do not have a dairy cow. That doesn't mean I can't make fresh butter. Um, and so I just love doing stuff like that. I always find that it keeps my spirits bright, right? Instead of constantly being like, man, who knows when I'm gonna have a dairy cow, or man, I'm never gonna have this. Um, I'm like, hey, I can go support the lady down the road and still make really cool stuff. Um, and it can be homemade and it can be healthy. And granted, this probably isn't the best butter since I ended up making it with store-bought cream, uh, but I know that this summer she'll have a lot more uh, milk available and I'll be able to continuously do this for my family throughout the summer. Um, and it just, it feels good to be sustainable. Um, and so, yeah, I just, I hope this encouraged you guys. Hopefully you maybe try to make some butter. Um, hopefully you're making some sourdough bread just like I am too. But I'll talk to you guys soon.